now i will create a um, model for the admin you see that in the models folder there is already a model for the users okay so this is the user model you can tell and for the admin i am going to create a model so php artisan make model and i will just create the admin because my table name is admins table so i will create a model by the name or uh, that means uh, the singular form of the table it will be the model name and also the first letter will be capital case so this is the admin and that is okay and you see admin model has been created and uh, here you see in laravel 12 there is one change that is there is no hash factory by default if you need uh, to use the factory then you will have to call the hash factory in the top and then you can use the factory but by default there is no need to call hash factory each time and this is the change in laravel 12 that was not into the laravel 11 so okay that is no problem at all in the user you see uh, not here i am going to close this i am going to open the user and this is the user model and the user model what i will just change here that is uh, first one is this one i am going to enable this and here if you want you can use the implements this one that is must verify email or something like that and here uh, protected fillable fields here you see name email password but in my case there are some more uh, there, there are some more fields for example the photo uh, name email photo and you know if i open this name email photo password and then there are some more more items for example the phone address etc okay phone address country state city zip so right here that is the phone then i am going to call the address uh, then country then here will be a state then there is a city and then there is a zip so these are the uh, fillable okay and there is a also token and status so you can call here the token and there will be a status so token and status also there so these things i am going to modify here and also if i go to mess it with the admin here i will just follow the user system here that is that means here i am going to copy these four items and in the top i am going to paste it and here oh, what thing i am going uh, to change here you see here is has factory is okay and the model uh, authenticable okay and here is um, here i am going to write not like this i will use this theory this theory i am going to copy and here i paste so has factory authenticable notifiable and the last one is model okay so this is okay and uh, here this admin extends model and here only one things i am going to change instead of model here uh, i am uh, going to write here that is here in the user authenticable i called here so here you can call the admin extends authenticable okay and uh, like this i can use the hash factory notifiable here like this so this is okay uh, you can just put something like that uh, the main thing is extends not model here it will extends the authenticable this class okay so this is actually the change and you should follow this now um, the ad in the admin end i want to create now a sample admin if you uh, see the database you will see that in the multi auth in the admins there is no admin but by default i will have to write one single admin here you can manually add the admin here that means the password token etc you can just go here insert in this way or another way that is the standard method that is using the seeder so you can create a seeder here so php artisan uh, then make seeder and then you can call here admin cedar so i will i have created a cedar here now you see this is my admin cedar and in the admin cedar in the top i can use here that is for example i will need to use the model here so use uh, app then hello uh, models and then i will write the admin here like this 
and use what you can call here the what uh, or hash sorry not what i can call here the hash hash is okay and in the run method you see it is now empty and here i will just write my code to insert a new admin here you see it is suggesting me this i am going to check if it is okay or not uh, it is the new admin equal to admin it is okay here name equal to admin this is also okay and here i am going to give the admin email uh, like this admin at the rate of gmail.com and then there is a photo so you can make it null or as it is nullable it should not be a problem uh, password is okay admin password equal to hash make i use hash here so hack me has hash make password and then i can write admin then token equal to empty here for example and status will be by default zero and admin save uh, and here if you want you can uh, also give a status but in the case of admin actually no status probably i am going to check name email photo password token okay so name email photo is here if i go to a structure you see it is non nullable field so i do not give and i don't need to give it here so it is okay so this is the insertion code and here i call the model so it will work now i am going to the db seeder and here i am going to make it off and in this location i will have to call that means this call and here what i will call i will call the admin seeder here so here i am going to call admin seeder so admin seeder class if i just call it here uh, it will be okay and then the admin seeder will be called that means this code will be executed so admin will be created in this system okay so how i will run this in here in the terminal i am going to just run the command that is php artisan then db seed you see seeding is completed now if i go here refresh you see the new admin photo is null but all other fields are inserted here so admin uh, uh, table information that means admin table data is created and i will next time will just edit the admin information from here and this is okay